Hello there my friends, this is Craig and welcome to my channel, The Atheist Experiment. One of the things that drives me crazy about the church and religion, and something that I used to hear all the time as a Christian, is that God is always everywhere and he's always in the room. He's in the room with us wherever we are. Whenever you feel alone, remember God is always there, and even in times of doubt or times of need, when one of his sheep wanders astray, he still always walks with you and is with you at all times. God is always in the room. What a load of bullshit. Is he present when someone's being raped or murdered or tortured? Is he witnessing an atrocity against one of his children and doing nothing? What if you replace God with a person? Would a person just stand there and watch? Do you know what the difference between God and us is? We would not fucking stand there and watch while someone is being tortured. Drives me mad. Either there is no God or your God is a monster. Do you know what the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament is? In the New Testament, God is kind of a good guy. He is. Especially when you compare him to the Old Testament God, who is a prick. I don't know what happened to God over time, how he matured. Did he go to anger management class? Or maybe just the birth of his son calmed him down a bit. But before he had the kid, holy fuck. He was out of control. He was a maniac. But his son, well, he says a lot of batshit crazy stuff too. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's for sure. Come on, Jesus. Break the cycle of violence. Be better than your old man. But no, Jesus is still a prick. Well, God is a prick. Well, they're the same person. What? Try to explain that one to a child. Child, do you believe in God? Who is God? He is Jesus' father. Do you believe in Jesus? Who, who is Jesus' mom? Mary was Jesus' mom. So Mary is married to God? No, stupid. Mary is married to Joseph. So, Joseph is Jesus' dad too? Yes, my child. So, Jesus has two dads. You know, at school, uh, Mikey has two dads. My teacher says that he's an abomination. Hmm. Wait, who is Jesus again? He is God. Wait, you said God was Jesus' dad. Yes, child, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Wait, Jesus is a ghost? Yes. God is a ghost? Yes. God is Jesus' dad? Yes. Jesus is God? Yes. Joseph is also Jesus' dad? No. I mean, yes. Hmm. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Hey, 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 don't talk that way. God will send you to hell. To hell? Yes, but don't worry. Jesus died in order to save your sins. How did Jesus die? God decided that Jesus would have to die to save us from our sins. So, God killed Jesus? Yes. But that means he also killed himself. Um, yes. What a prick. Hey, hey, behave. Wait, didn't God make all the rules? Yes. Oh, I think I get it now. So God had sex with Joseph's wife, Mary, and got a teenager pregnant without her consent so that she would give birth to Jesus so he could later kill himself 
to save himself, uh, to save us from himself as a loophole around rules that he made. And in the meantime, he made Joseph raise and care for his bastard son. Eat your fucking fruit loops. So this is what you believe and what you want your kids to believe. Can't you see how ridiculous this sounds? I mean, think about it. Really think about it. Apparently, God made all the rules. Couldn't he just go ahead and forgive us? Why all the unnecessary drama? I thought he was all powerful. You know, it's just so weird. I mean, can we all agree that this story is really, really out there? We tell our kids these stories and demand they believe them. And then we wonder why the state of education is where it is. We see day after day the misinformation that exists on the internet and in the media. And it's no surprise that people fall for that shit that is spread across the web. These people are primed by a system that asks them to believe batshit crazy stories from the Bible or from the Quran or pick any other religious book of hogwash. Then these same people won't get vaccinated or won't wear a mask or won't social distance to protect themselves and others from COVID-19. There is a rise in the belief that the world is flat. Oh my God, the world is flat? There is overwhelming evidence that the world is not flat. Fucking come on. It's funny, when I was a kid, I can remember my family used to make fun of other religions because of their ridiculous antics and beliefs. You know, the televangelists and the faith healers and the Muslims and the Jews. It just never occurred to us that what we were engaged in was equally as ridiculous. Stop teaching your kids that shit crazy stuff and then wondering why they fall in love with QAnon. Stop the insanity. Stop teaching fictional stories as truth. Stop priming minds to be unable to think for themselves and start teaching kids how to think and not what to think. The survival of the human race depends on it. We live on a ball of dirt that is hurtling through space and running into all kinds of things that are trying to kill us. Not to mention all the things here on the surface that are trying to kill us. Please, please, please. Keep your distance from others. Wear a mask as often as possible and get the vaccine if you are eligible for it. It's only temporary and we can get life back to normal much sooner if we all cooperate. I'm trying very hard not to be a pessimist when it comes to the human race. I have always said I have faith in humanity and progress that we will all pull together when we need to and we will beat a common enemy. You know all those American movies, the feel-good movies, where the human race is under attack by a plague or an alien race and the whole world manages to pull together and win the day? Well, we just did that experiment and we're failing miserably. I no longer believe that the world can pull together when we really need to. Our common enemy, COVID-19, has killed millions of us and still is killing millions more. And what do we do? We squabble over who gets the vaccines first. We complain that we're not getting it fast enough. We bitch about our leaders making bad decisions as if we somehow could do a better job. Now I hear talk about vaccination passports that will allow vaccinated people certain privileges over those that are not vaccinated yet. Holy fuck, this is segregation. Which will lead to people being viewed as second class citizens. I find it outrageous. What is wrong with everybody? I think anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers are as ill-informed and misinformed and even as stupid as they sound. And it pisses me off. But at the end of the day, they have the right to make decisions and we can't be making them into second-class citizens 
just because they have been primed for this kind of thinking. They are victims of bad ideas, and in order to be a humanist, you have to see past your hate for them and try to engage with everyone you meet who disagrees with you. That's how we make a better world. And who knows? I might be wrong. And you might be wrong. But if we segregate those who don't act like us, then we are no better off than we were 50 years ago, or 100 years ago, or pick your hair. And trust me, God is not with you. Other humans are with you. And we all have to cooperate to make humanity better, stronger, smarter, healthier, and mostly happier. Take care, my friends. <laughs>、hey、there, my friends. If you enjoy my videos and you would like to see more, subscribe. And don't forget to scroll down and hit the little bell so you can get notifications. I will be putting out a video every Sunday evening, and if you like it, hit the like button. And if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Catch you next time, and have a great week.